this video, I'm gonna make a stand for my laptop so it sits more vertical and upright and it has some extra cooling as well as I'm out of ports, so I got a USB dongle. So, so first off, got a bunch of fans, little fans off of Amazon. They're designed to work off the of USB. They're only about, I think, two or where are they? Well, these are 12 volt. They sent me the wrong thing. So, well, this here, this is a dongle, so at least that works. I thought that said two volt. <laughs> so it looks like what we're probably gonna have to do is, uh, cause I don't really wanna ship these back with how long it's taking Amazon to get stuff here. So I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and uh, just find a way to make it work with 12 volts. Maybe just use some batteries or something. I don't know. But while I'm here, this here is my current setup. I got a monitor I use for code and if I'm looking through any resources or anything, I can just see a lot more when it's vertical. Then I got my main monitor that I actually go ahead and, ooh, screwed up light in there. I got a main monitor that is where I do basically everything that I want to do if I'm 3D modeling or have anything like that going on. And then my laptop, which you'll see, is right there. And it takes up a lot of room on the desk. I don't use the keyboard anymore. Now, what I want to do is I want to actually get this vertical so that another problem I'm having is with how high this one is, my eyes are actually gazing down to look at the laptop. So I'd like to be able to get this nice and high. But what I'd be looking to do is just like that. I want to be able to have fans uh, placed down below at a little bit of an angle and I want them blowing up at the cold air. The other thing I want to have to do is this is the dongle here. I want to be able to plug it in and have it so that the dongle will actually face forward and it's fixed so I can easily plug in and out of stuff. I wanted to design the stand in such a way where I could have uh, control of how fast the fans spin and so I have a variable resistor I was going to use. Now, when I was thinking about it, it would be really cool to have some LEDs shine, give like a halo effect to the laptop. And oops. Uh, then I realized I also have this radio, old radio, and it has a bunch of dials on it, which I think use resistors as well. And it has a switch, so I can have an on and off switch. The do is I'm gonna take this apart and I am going to steal them. This is everything I decided to keep. I'm gonna keep uh, this board here. I gotta take off this switch. I'm gonna keep the variable resistor. I uh, just need super glue that back together. Keep some screws, never know they're gonna come in handy. An antenna for a future project and a speaker. the printer to finish the parts up I'm gonna be working on the PCB so for the LEDs coming in uh, or not the LEDs for the fans coming in we're gonna need 12 different connectors uh, so I was gonna put just a 12 pin so then I was gonna put a connector for the power in then we're gonna have that come over here and that's going to be for our LED strips. We're also going to have that switch with the weird many pins on it. So we'll just use a simple. Now we're going to need the variable resistor for controlling the fan speed and the one LED light.
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say this is ground. This will be blue. What we'll have to do is we're gonna have to pick one color uh, in order to have that just be directly connected to the positive. So we'll just bring this one up and we'll throw it on the green. Then we'll take the blue, come down and we'll have, that's connected. We'll have the other variable resistor right here and we'll connect the blue to it. Oh, we put that to green, my bad. Yesterday I spent two hours trying to get the CNC printer to work. I updated my firmware, updated drivers, tried troubleshooting it, reinstalled the software, and I tried everything I could, and I couldn't get it to work. And then today... What an idiot! Everything's 3D printed, PC board's cut, it's time to assemble. Okay, so we're gonna grab a 12 pin connector. We're gonna grab a four pin connector for the LEDs. And we need a two pin connector for power. We need our fans. Uh, we need our variable resistors and switch. Some wire. I'll figure out the color later. We need the soldering stuff. And we need the LED lights. Okay, time to start assembling. I don't want to glue it just yet. I want to wait till we get everything all wired up so we can put some elastic bounds around it. But see, the laptop will sit right in this crevice right here. So, and now this part, it's just gonna get attached on the side. We're gonna have the little control dial, the PCB, I'm gonna wire it all in. This will be able to plug right into my laptop too. I didn't really think that through. I found a 12 volt power supply for an old laptop in my house. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna cut off the end, I'm gonna put this two point connector on, and that way I can plug it straight into the power supply on the board. Now, I'm actually gonna use this power supply, which I already did this to, because I don't have any more of the special connectors you need to connect it, so I'm just gonna cut it and solder it to the existing wires first. Uh, and as well, I found these old LED strips, so instead of using new LEDs, this off old project, I'm gonna use these guys, and I'm gonna run these just on the back right here. 
Hopefully they work. I'm going to test them out first, but run two strips just on the back, shooting backwards. And to connect those, I'm going to use these guys. That way I can just plug straight into the board as well, but I can also switch it up if I want to put out the color schemes a bit. plugged in. Time to give it a test. And please work. If we change this so we get darker blue, lighter blue, we can get white. So that's pretty cool but it's not what I was exactly going for. I was hoping you can get every color of the rainbow. I guess you could just unplug one. Now you can turn the lights on and off. That's dope. Okay, let's try and switch these two. Okay, it's so time to see how it fits. Oh, I'm really excited. Okay, time to turn it on. Let's just take a look back here. Give it a little reach around and just turn it off. So you can see where it's touching on the back of my laptop. Just perfect. If you take a look, we can see how thin that is now. Vice versa, I can film all the, well the cords are helping this way, but there we go. So much more room for activities. So many activities. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe.